Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Good Girls Get High. It's only an hour and 20 minutes long. I found this movie a couple of months ago. It came out on DirecTV and I never ordered it. I saw it there and when it came out on DirecTV it was like 7 point something. Now it's down to 6.0. But only 127 people have rated it on IMDb. So it will be 128. And it's kind of like the title implies, two girls who are, you know, gifted academically, um, you know, put their nose to the grind throughout all of high school to, uh, you know, end up going to a new school or a good college, I should say. And uh, they decide to get high, I think, the last day of their senior year. And, you know, whatever happens goes awry there and, you know, they get to be bad girls for a day and how does that work out for them? That's what I get from what I've read here. So, I don't know. 6.0, 127 people. I didn't recognize any of the names on the actors list, so I'll get into it here, find out what it's really about, see if it's any different, and then ultimately let you know what I think. But an hour and 20 minutes, so I'll try and be brief, but I'll be back. All right. Hey, everybody. We're at the credits of uh, Good Girls Get High. Uh, no check-in, an hour and 20 minute movie. And the plot was really what we thought it was. Two girls who are very academically superior, I guess. I don't know, whatever. They have great school years, four years. Um, and they're bound to go to college. Um, Harvard, you know what I mean? Everybody's going to Harvard in these movies. Um, but anyway, the um, yearbook comes out and they're labeled as the best good girls. You know, so like the best, you know hair and the best smile and they get the best good girl. So that kind of gets them, man, they want to break that mold that they have of themselves and that's where the um, the pot comes in and then, of course, as you can imagine, a bunch of things happen after that um, in their little weekend of having fun that jeopardizes their future. Right? So that's what it is. Kind of, it's book smart. Right? Is that what the name of that one was? Book smart, I think? Uh, yeah, book smart was another one. Very similar concept. Um, here's the difference. Now, I might be ruining it, but for me, I had very low expectations for this. And for Booksmart, I had high expectations for that. And I think they, you know, pretty much very So I, I looked, I was going to give this one a 6. I gave that one a 6. So, I'm wondering, you know, was my expectations higher for that? And it came under, this was lower, and it came over kind of thing. You know, because this is kind of it was cute. Uh, when it started off, I thought it was going to be, um, it looked like it was going to be bad. Like the opening credits and stuff like that looked like it was going to be cheaply done. Poor acting. No. I liked both of the girls, the characters. Um, I thought they, they were pretty funny. I actually laughed out loud maybe three times. Literally. Uh, which doesn't happen a lot in these movies, you know? And so and that's what you're looking for in this, so you're going to laugh. I did. There was like two or I think three times that actually I was out loud laughing. So that that's what I judge this movie on. Very predictable kind of stuff, except for you don't know what kind of trouble they're going to get in. But um, you know that's going to happen. And you know, um, it, the strain it puts on their relationship. The other piece of it that I kind of, you know, I liked was, you know, they're in high school and high school's tough no matter what generation you're in, right? Uh, but I think it's even harder now my opinion, I don't know, um, you know, with the bullying aspect. Now, there are two kids who demonstrate a small amount of bullying, um, making fun of them in the beginning, um, but that's it, you know? I mean, other than that, you know, they, they, you know, they, they go to a party kind of thing, and they're not that picked on, and, um, you know, so I like the way that they kind of stayed away from that, because, you know, Although they think, you know, hey, they haven't done anything fun and they're the good girls. You would sometimes think in a movie sense that people are going to now pick on them and call that out a little bit more. That doesn't happen, except for those two guys who, as you can see in the movie, they weren't very popular themselves. Um, so I like that aspect of it. Um, and I didn't know either of the two girls, the actresses. At least I don't think I did. I didn't recognize them. Um, the teacher I recognized, I don't know his name, but, uh, you know, he was the chemistry teacher, whatever. The only, and, and, uh, and the cop I also recognize. She was uh, Lauren Laff, I think her name is. I think that's who it was. I don't know. Anyway, you know, it, it didn't really matter. I thought it was pretty well done. 
uh, higher than I thought when I watched it in the beginning. Um, and the acting was good. There wasn't really any bad acting that I can think of that stood out to me. Um, the story was, you know, predictable but fun. And I thought that it's, time, it's a good hour. It's only an hour and 20 minutes. And, you know, it made me laugh. So, I know it's not the biggest, deepest movie review ever. But, if you liked Booksmart, you would probably like this. If you like these high school kind of movies, um, I think this one this one's not bad. It's worth the hour and 20 minutes. So, I'm going to stick with a six on it. Um, maybe I'm being a little generous, but I don't think so. I, I can't find many faults with it. I'll put it to you that way. So, there you go. That's what I got for you. If you want to, check it out. Um, if you do, drop me a line. love to hear your thoughts. What did you think of the movie? Did you laugh out? Count how many times you laugh out loud, if at all. Um, maybe you won't. And maybe I just ruined an hour and 20 minutes of your life. But hopefully not. Um, but if you haven't already, of course, please subscribe to my channel. That would be fantastic. Tell all your friends. And continue to come back to Kimmel's Irish Pub.